Hey y'all, it's me again. I'm back in my beautiful room. I saw a lot of people posting on what their snacks were. Can you tell what mine is? Slim Jim and M&M's. Yeah, like you couldn't see that coming. Got a couple of things today. Um, one is I wanted to show y'all what I do when I make a mask. Um, cause everybody has their own way of doing it. And I think it's all cool that everybody does it the way that they feel most comfortable doing it. Um, I don't, I've never been much of a pattern follower. So <laughs> yeah, that's me. Although I did sew my daughter a dress by hand one time cause I didn't have a sewing machine at the time. So I sewed her an entire dress when she was little by hand. But that was because I was in the cross stitch and, you know, sewing wasn't no big deal for me. But anyway, I cut these pieces of fabric. I measured them from this to this, from ear to ear. That's how long. And then from here, the tip of your nose, to under your chin. Pretty much way under your chin, okay? Um, I have it on good authority. That's the best way to cut it. And then I put two pieces together. And I folded one edge down when I sewed them together, right side facing. Because later on, we're going to be having those HEPA filters, and I wanted to be able just to stick them inside the mask. Now, after I get the, uh, for the nose, I then turn it right side out and stitch it together like this so that I can fold it easier over the piece I need to. So as long as I keep it above that line where that pouch is, that side, and then this side can just fold over. But here's what goes on the inside of that is the string. So I just kind of gauged and actually, the string is just two lengths of this sewn together. Well, they're sewn separately, and then they're kind of, you know, uh, kind of stitch them together, and then put them in the inside of this, fold it over, and sew it. And then I have the ties for the mask. Get it? And I still have my pocket for the HEPA. So... My sister's been having me make a ton. I... No! <laughs> that would be, you know, like, too easy, right? No. She's changing her mask every time she goes out, which is actually kind of smart. Didn't think about that. But she's not washing the ones she's got done because she's waiting until she gets a full load. Do you see the size of those masks? There is no way no way to get a full load of those unless you have like a hundred and I ain't made a hundred let me tell you I've only made six eighteen plus five about twenty three so far well and a few extras that I don't count because I didn't have the ties I did with the elastics you know that was about ten or fifteen but after talking to my daughter, she suggested doing it this way because this way, whenever you pinch the, uh, when you have this on the inside, this, y'all know this is a pipe cleaner, right? When you have it on the inside, you can fit it to your nose so that your nose has a tight seal. It's protection. And the reason for the ties is the same reason. Because when you tie the top, it goes tight here. When you tie the bottom, it goes tight all the way around. So you have a tight seal for your whole face. So that's what I went with. Mary Maxim came in. <laughs> I figured I'd open it for y'all. Yeah, I love the, the packaging. Yeah, it's a little dirty. Can you tell? Yeah, I'm, I'm not feeling that dirty part at all. Let's see if I can get into this without cutting my yarn. Well, I could if I just did it this way, I think. So, want to know what everybody's been up to. Um, 
doing better than I was earlier. So thank you for all the prayers. I told my daughter that you, you sent prayers and she was very appreciative. Um, you know, she's just been praying herself, you know, hoping that, you know, everything goes good. And, and I, and that's all I can hope for is that everything goes well with her and her coworkers. Whew. But yeah, I've been watching a lot of strange TV. I watched this show called Bar Rescue. Have you ever watched that? That guy is mean, but he's smart. So I don't know how to quite take him sometimes because he really is mean. Of course, you know what colors I got. You have to because it's white. And they put all four of them in one pack. I'm shocked. I didn't think they would all fit in one pack, but boy, howdy. I didn't know they made four packs. But that's good. I guess they... um expanded the thing so that it would fit all four, which is good news for me because I don't have to worry about them getting dirty. Oh. Hang on. Everything else still out. Let's see what they got. Christmas tree. Is that a Christmas tree? Yeah. It's called Holiday Sparkle. A rose bush. 35 cents a day. Coca-Cola collection. Whatever that is. Aromatherapy, I think. And I just love this blanket, guys. Isn't that gorgeous? I think that's called a drop blanket. And they sent me a very nice thank you for not fussing about when my order got here or anything like that. And You know, I didn't fuss because... Hello, we all knew why it didn't get here. Because they're you know trying to play it safe with their family of uh, workers and keep them safe and I guess they figured it was safe enough for them to open up the warehouse at least to get a few orders out and they sent these on and I th and I'm greatly appreciative to them for that although honestly speaking they could have waited as long as they wanted to I didn't care as long as everybody stays safe all right so yeah I hate to tell y'all this but I've got a sewing machine sitting in my bedroom mm -hmm. on a little coffee table. Uh, not coffee table, table. Um, oh, my stars. You guys, I know this word. I know it. And it's just gone. What is that word? TV tray. Got it. <laughs> I told you I knew the word. Um but I have a sewing machine set on top of a TV tray to sew my mask. So it's sitting right on one side of my bed. And then um, all my crocheting is behind that. And then on one side of my bed, because, you know, hello, I sleep alone in a queen-size bed. i got room. Is the other project I'm working on with the uh, premium candy shop yarn, which I love, guys. I don't, I don't know if I said that earlier, but I really do love that yarn. Um, it rocks. It's um, it it it's almost as close to this Mary Maxim as I can get in the premium line that I found. Um, I don't know about any of their others. I haven't tried them. All I'm all I'm telling y'all about are the ones I've tried, and the ones I've tried is the Premier Candy Shop yarns, and I love them. Um, the color Nerds is really bright and beautiful, and it's going to take a lot of them to uh, finish that blanket. So, gonna be looking for sales. Mary Maxim, I absolutely love their Maximum Value yarn. If you have not used it before, you will love it. It crochets like a thick four, and it doesn't look like a thick four. Looks like a little medium four, little medium four weight, and then when you go to crochet, it just crochets bigger and I love it I do love it <laughs> it's some of the best yarn hey that's just me um I know I kept my other video short I plan on keeping this one short because I know everybody's you know doing different things and trying to stay busy and all this other stuff but you know it's just one of those things 
let's see, what has come up this week that has been interesting? Oh, my sister went to Walmart with my brother-in-law to go pick up some groceries for the week and to run a few errands. So they stopped by. I gave them a few masks to wear, take with them to wear. She goes, we got there and there was very few people wearing masks and very few people being careful or standing six feet apart. She said, I'm just shocked that more people aren't sick than are. And I'm like, well, you know, that could be one of those, uh, what do they call them, super carriers, where they can have the virus, not get sick from it, but spread it like crazy. They may be one of those people. They have them. They're out there. Um, I had a lot of people, um, I've been watching a lot of videos, and some of the things I've seen, not from the yarn community, for heaven's sakes, you guys are awesome. But from other uh, YouTubers and stuff saying that the um, coronavirus fatality rate is about the same as the flu. All right, I'll give you that. Flu season starts in November, ends in April, sometimes May. So that's about a good six months or so, you know, of... Uh, People getting sick from November to May, you know, spread out. Lots of people get the flu. Not many people die from it, um, but a good number of them do. The problem with that analogy is this. The flu is spread out over six months. Coronavirus has only been in the United States since the end of February. This is April, guys. End of February, end of March, mid-April. We'll do that. Two and a half months. So we got the same death rate as the flu in two and a half months as opposed to six months. That's not making me feel better. Why isn't it making me feel better? Because that's what the health officials were scared of. That's why they closed everything down is because the flu you get over six months people in ICU rotating in rotating out you know that kind of thing and it's more of a ventilator type situation they're learning that COVID is not necessarily a ventilator situation because it attacks your your lungs a different way um, more like malaria it's more of a blood disease and um so what it does is it changes the makeup of your blood cells. And some people have great antibodies and are able to fight it off and they come down with very mild symptoms, but they can pass it on. And I was right about it rebounding because people who have tested negative after getting well are now testing positive again, which means that they're, they've got it again. So this is not like the flu or, you know, measles or something like that, where you get it, you're kind of immune to that particular strain. Oh, no, 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 no. You can get this several times. Uh, not a very happy, happy thing to know, is it? Yeah, I thought I'd share that bit of joy with you. Yeah, y'all can kill me later. Um, but if my mind's going to be messed up, y'all going to be messed up too. No, I'm only kidding. <laughs> but seriously, did y'all know that? I Look, I've had to do all kinds of research online and do all this stuff online to try and figure out if I'm like overreacting or if I'm putting too much emphasis on things. You know, I've had to read like hundreds of articles, guys. It sucks. But. I found a channel on YouTube that is, believe it or not, they, they, they focus on China issues. Um, I don't know why, but they do. And they talk about, you know, China fudging the numbers and not giving the correct numbers and increasing their totals by 50% when we all know it's probably a whole lot higher. Uh, they have 
by a few billion more people than we do over here and their death toll slower than ours no i don't believe that not not for a minute because they had the outbreak in november in november is when they started they just didn't shut down the province they let people go here and there everywhere yeah i know right oh well anywho I'm hunkering now. I'm staying in because I'm like one of those at-risk people. Um, sucks. But, you know, I'm just... It's kind of weird. I think Madonna put it best. It's, it's weird because now you know you can't go out. It's a whole lot different than staying home because you want to. <laughs> um, when you want to, it's kind of like, Yay, I get to stay at home. Now it's like, darn, I can't leave the house. Um, I am following social distancing. I'm washing my hands. I'm doing everything I'm supposed to do. I'm kind of staying away from my sister and my brother-in-law because they keep going in and out of town, and I'm just not into that. So I'm doing the social distancing from them as well. However, I wanted to ask y'all a question. I know this is nosy. You don't have to answer it, but... Have any of y'all not received your stimulus check? Because I didn't receive one. I figured I probably wouldn't anyway, but, you know, just, oh, well, you know, just wondering. Because, you know, some people, my daughter got hers, my parents got theirs, my sister and brother-in-law got theirs. Um, lots of people I know got theirs, um, but... I didn't get one, which is fine. I mean, I wasn't expecting it, so it's not a big deal. Um, but for people who were expecting it and aren't getting it, I'm I'm assuming this has got to be hard for them because people are starting to panic because of food shortages. But it's not food shortages, really. It's because the food banks... Are giving out food people are going through there and the lines are enormous enormous but if you go to the grocery store they have food you can go in you can buy your groceries you can leave prices are changing i don't know how many of y'all have noticed prices are going up and the reason for that is because of distribution issues I don't know. Logistics is going to be a nightmare for all of us because until everybody gets back on and up and online and the factories get back to producing at their normal level, um, we're going to have distribution issues. And what kind of irritates me, and I think this is going to happen, y'all watch it because I guarantee it's probably going to happen, is that once they raise the prices, they're not going to go back down. Oh, no, this is their opportunity to raise those prices no matter what happens when they go back into production, whether they can make still make it cheaper, which they probably can, but the prices are going to go up. And I'm kind of irritated at that because it's hard enough. I mean, good heavens to buy groceries for people and pay your rent. Um, I know a lot of people struggle. I struggled sometimes. If I didn't have my brother and sister... My sister and brother-in-law living next door would not be pretty at all. But, you know, they're, they're very helpful and they're good with me. And I don't know about y'all, but I've got a lot of rice. I don't eat beans. Um, but I've got a lot of rice. I've got, um, we've got a lot of deer meat, which I like. Um... One thing I can't get, which I love, is sausage. <sighs> yeah, I know. It's not good for me because it's really fatty. But I do love me some sausage and bacon. But, you know, oh well. After, maybe? We'll see. But anyway, I'm looking at finishing that other blanket. Now that I have the yarn to finish. Um, and also working on the nerds blanket. 
And in the meantime, also doing my little squares, because y'all know I was doing squares in two different sizes. Um, but got to take my time and do them exactly the way I should, because, you know, joining all these crazy color squares together are going to be interesting. I don't know what I'm going to do. I may have to get some more Mary Max and then join them with a white band stitch down the, you know, middle or something, you know, just to join them together. I don't know. Suggestions, please. Um, Y'all, stay safe. Wash your hands. Take this seriously. If you're at risk, if you're in the risk area don't go out if you can avoid it if you can get your groceries delivered do that if you can have them you know do it curbside do that but don't go inside a store if you're at risk because you there are people who literally do not care if they get you sick and that to me is unacceptable because i want everybody to stay healthy and safe and happy and smiling that's just me though um you guys please take care um if y'all have a comment or if y'all have a suggestion for something i could do next please let me know because you know like i'm running out of ideas here used to i could you know when i leave the house i have something to talk about now i'm like at home although the bullfrog that was outside my window yesterday Oh my goodness, I have never wanted to shoot a bullfrog before, but that thing was loud. I've never heard a frog that loud in my life. That was a big frog and it was very loud and yeah. My dog got up in bed with me when we heard it because it scared her. Well, she's a weenie anyway. She's, you know, scared of everything, but that's okay. Because the other night, whenever the but we had a thunderstorm. She jumped up in the bed, got right beside me, and I got to, to hug and pet on her because she won't let you do it otherwise. Because she was abused when she was little, so she's real standoffish. But whenever she's scared or something, she's right there on you, and that's when you can get your love in because she's, oh my gosh. She just, oh, she's so tiny. I just love it. Anyway, I'm going to let you guys go because this video is running on and on and on and on and on and I'm running out of things to say. But enjoy your time. Um, don't feel like you're sentenced to jail. You're not. You're just in your house for a while. And for those of you who are struggling, um, just know that everybody... There's a lot more people out there struggling too. So take care of yourselves. If you can, stay inside. If you can't, you know, then do what you can to protect yourselves. Make a mask. Put your t-shirt over your face. There are lots of ways to do it. Handkerchief, that'll work. But y'all take say, woo, y'all take care, be safe. And I will talk to y'all later. Bye.